This is a hornworm over here. There you go. Right here. He's trying to resist the arrest. Oof. Say goodnight to the people. Good morning, YouTube. This is Lisa. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. I'm doing great. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I would like to welcome you. And if you are a return viewer, thank you for coming back again. It is Saturday 6th and um, I'm out here a little early. It's about 7.30 and um, I'm going to water uh, the garden. Uh, uh, my sister usually gets up every morning and does it and, and water. She does that. But um, I'm just going to do it for her today. And then I'm going to go ahead and get started with everything else that I want to do. I got a big list that I want to do today and I know I won't get through it all. But it's some things that I have been saying I'm going to do and I have not done yet. And so I got to get it done. So like today I want to uh, go ahead and get fertilizing done and um, there's just some other stuff. So just hang in there with me and I will be right back. So I got another garden t-shirt and this one says sometime I wet my plants. Well, so I finished uh, watering and um, that took about two hours <laughs> to do and almost is like an hour and 45 minutes to do and I didn't even water the big garden and so that's why we got to get drip uh, put in but um, I'm gonna um, eat me a little something and drink a lot <laughs> And then I'm going back out and I will be doing some harvesting and fertilizing. So I'll be right back. Well, I'm back out here and um, I'm going to start over here. I have some Swiss chard need to be harvested and I also have some um, broccoli. I think I have two or three heads of broccoli that needs to be harvested and that'll be it for the broccoli. And um, the broccoli did very well this uh, spring summer and um, it all came up in good time and so I'm really excited about it and so but I'm gonna get, go ahead and get started because I want to get all my harvesting done and my fertilizing before it gets too hot. That's the reason why I haven't uh, fertilized in a while because when I get do, get to doing other things and it gets too hot and I can't fertilize when it's real hot like that. So I'm going to get busy. So I'm just probably gonna have it on time lapse and not do a lot of talking because that'll slow me down. So I'll be right back.
This is the Swiss chard harvest. Swiss chard, it was a lot. It had been a while since I harvested it. And, oh, the wind is blowing it. But I'm just going to go ahead and take it in the house. I didn't bring a bucket out here with water to keep them hydrated. And uh, it's not really that hot today. But it is a little bit. So but I'm going to take them in the house. And uh, we will wash them up later. I'll be right back. So that's what I'm left with um, with the Swiss chard. And I'm going to uh, go over here and harvest the broccoli. And it was a white moth in here. They finally made their way in. So I have a head of broccoli here. This one could probably go a little longer. And then I had another one somewhere else. There's some side shoots on that one over there. I thought I had another head. There's side shoots on this one too. I think this one never did make a head. and get this one. Should have brought my knife. And then that's that one. That's all I'm going to do right here. But I'll go ahead and get this kale. The moles have dug up this yard so bad that even under this black fabric, the ground is just not level anymore. And um, even out in the big garden, they've done the same thing. That's all I'm going to get out of here, so I'll cover this back up. So right here, 
I have uh, broccoli and I have lacinato kale and red ursa kale and um, so that's about it of the brassicas that I'm growing so I am going to sit these over to the side and then I'm going to keep moving I got other stuff to harvest my sister was out doing some stuff around the tomato plants and she found this one she said it looked like a squash bug looking kind of bug that was nibbling on that so she went ahead and took that off I don't know I think this may be a Paul Robeson I'm not sure but I'm gonna keep moving so I'll be right back okay you all these are cayenne peppers and these are poblano these are cayenne it's two of them it's such an overcast day I don't really think that we need shade so I might take this off it is not even I think it's supposed to rain so we got a good rain yesterday and uh, didn't last that long but it was a good rain still just gonna stick this on the side of that bed there is a Paul Robeson in here that is blushing and I want to get him out this is Paul Robeson it's split but still looks good he's going in the house I don't know what's going on with this pepper, but I'm going to take it off. I want those to get a little bigger, so I think I'll leave those on there. Somebody is burning. So, oh, that's my sister. I thought somebody is burning. <laughs> so, my sister is over there burning. This great big fat worm right here. It was headed straight to that pepper. I'm gonna take this shade cloth and just raise it up.
I gotta spray some BT on uh, this out here. This is the worm that I see everywhere. He's on Swiss chard, he's on tomatoes, he's on peppers. Say goodnight to the people. It is a bunch of these leaf footed bugs in here. And they are flying around here like. Wasp. I need to get these out. These are said Marzano. That one fell off when I was trying to get those off. I want to show you something. This one has blossom in rot. It's the only one I found. This one, I believe one of those worms ate into it. Okay, so I'm going to these are the orange sickle tomatoes. I just dropped that one. I think this board has bowed or like it has bowed out because it has separated from the soil down in there. Okay. These are the orange sickle tomatoes. I'm going to pull this shade cloth back from these tomatoes. I'll come back and do that better. These tomato plants are looking pretty good. They all have tomatoes on them. And they're looking pretty good. And this basil plant, I think that might be holy basil. But it is, everything is doing okay. I just want to look around and see if there are any of those worms on them. Here's a tomato. This is Paul Robeson. I think something tried to get this one. Right there. And then it might be getting too much water. Because it looked like it was trying to split. This one is trying to blush. There he is. There he is eating this. Say goodnight to the people. Eating my tomato. That joker. Oh, you have to look at this stuff every day. <laughs> every day you got to look at this stuff.
Because why are you not looking? Somebody will sneak right on in and take over. Well, it's huge. Okay, so I'm going to keep going, keep moving. Because i got a lot more to do. Okay, I'm going to harvest some okra. These Louisiana long pods. Woo wee. Look at that. Japanese beetles back here eating up the okra plants. These are Burmese. Now I have let those let those get too long. I came over here and started, thought I started the camera, but I didn't, but I've uh, picked some of the cucumbers. I didn't get the two, but uh, these Alabama black-eyed butter bean, they are ready. Harvest some of them. They have some of them have went dry, but they need harvesting. Where is it bingo? There, that bean is. I can come out here and get started doing stuff and my attention gets on something else then I go start doing that and sometimes I won't get anything done because I have started too much This last year, it grew. They grew here, and they got so thick you couldn't even see in here. And then my sister, she wouldn't even come out here. She wouldn't even come out here because she was so afraid. Mr. No Shoulders was in here, and she was just afraid to come out here. And. Uh, I will come and let you all see it, but then <laughs> I would be really scared, but this is better this year, but we got a lot last year, we were able to uh, put up a lot. I think in 2022, we tried freezing these. They weren't that good frozen. They just didn't taste that good when we took them out to cook them.
There's a hornworm. Look at that. No. There he is. There is a hornworm. I saw that looking like that. Eating up. And then around here, these lambs are eating. And right here, this eating. And these tomatoes right here. But we have spotted him. And he just having himself a good time. He's right there. And we're going to look it over to be sure that he's the only one. I wish I had my gloves. I'll pick, pull him off. I'm gonna get him off first. I just wanna make sure there's not another one on here. But I'm gonna get this joker right here. And bring him around. And let him say goodnight to the people. There he is. You can see him. He's fighting it. He has got to say goodnight to the people. You can't stay here. Woo. He is full of the good stuff. So I'm just going to look this plant over. Make sure. I don't see any more because he was the only one because I'll tell you he was full. These plants don't look bothered. But that joker ate these I think that was the only one. I don't see any more. I sure hope that I don't come out and the rest of my plants are eaten up. Because I missed another one. I've got to look in here and make sure there's no worms in here. And these plants, they need to get out un from under the shade cloth too. So they can get some sun. Okay, so this looks funny.
This plant looks funny too. I don't know what it is. It's over here. It's not a Paul Robeson. It's a hornworm over here. There you go. Right here. He's trying to resist the arrest. Oof. Say goodnight to the people. One came over here and the other one went over there. We got this, uh, Red Reuben is either Red Reuben or Thai Basil. They don't smell that strong down here. Now I do need to look and make sure he was the only one over here. This one. This is the box car Willie. That he was on. This is one of those black ones. This thing has some huge tomatoes on them, but they will not blush. They will not blush. Oh, these worms. I have got to spray some BT today, but it looks like it's supposed to rain. Big, huge Paul Robesons. But they won't blush. My sister had to take a Paul Robeson plant out. I don't know what happened to it. It just died back. It just died. But we did get some nice sized tomatoes off of it. But it, I guess it just couldn't stay in the heat. But it started looking funny before we started covering with uh, shade cloth. These are black brandy wine. And this is a yellow brandy wine. I took this one off. It's boxcar willy. Um, something's probably inside of it.
beating. So I'm going to get busy and uh, fertilize with some of the Alaska more bloom. Uh, it's a 0 10 10 so everything out here is going to get that. Uh, the melons are looking really good and um, I'm going to put some down the mound and um, then everything out here is going to get it. So I'll be right back. Okay, you all so I'm back in the house it started raining and um, I just brought everything in but uh, I'll show you what I got I'll turn you around okay so these are the Alabama black-eyed lima beans and then these are the uh, purple peas my sister picked those and I got cucumbers and tomatoes here. Um, I think this one is the box car willy. I think these three are uh, Paul Robeson. Um, these two are black brandy wine, and this is a yellow brandy wine. I have all these cherry tomatoes. And there are a lot of uh, cayenne peppers underneath. And then there, this is the biggest one, the uh, poblano pepper. There's two or three of them under there. But um, this is a Paul Robeson. This right here. And then all uh, this okra. Let it stay out there too long. Uh, some of it is the 16 inch long pot, Louisiana 16 inch long pot. Like that is Clemson tie, uh, spineless. Anything with the little knots on them are the Burmese. And then these are um, San Marzano. And I think that is all that's under there. It's a lot of San Marzano under those peppers. And uh, so that's it for the harvest. All these. Okay, you all. So that's all I'm going to do uh, today. And. I'm sorry that I didn't turn the camera on no more than I did, but um, it's just easier and faster when I can go. And then sometimes I forget. And one time the battery went dead and I didn't even know it. I am uh, going to go in, got fertilizing done, um, got uh, harvesting done, and found two horn worms <laughs> and um, it's almost impossible to keep them from coming but you can do some things to help not have so many and then those little black worms I just I, somebody said that those are army worms and they'll they are out there like an army and if you find them pick them get them get them make them say goodnight to the people 
because they will eat your fruit. Um, that's what I see them doing. Now, um, before I could just see them out there and didn't really look like they were doing anything, but they will eat your fruit. You know, if you find ho uh, holes in your tomatoes or peppers or something like that, it's probably one of them that has eaten into it. And um, so that's what they're out there doing. And the, uh, the hornworms, you know what they'll do. And so you gotta check your plants every day. Every day you have to check your plants. And um, as you can see, the okra was big. And cause I have not harvested them um, in a few days. So they were pretty big. And so that's it you all. Just check your garden every day. Go out and check it every day. <laughs> Cause uh, things can get by you and um, you just know, you, you've seen what'll happen. <laughs> so you all, you all stay safe, stay well, and uh, stay hydrated in your gardens. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.